difficulty in Warframe is a hard thing to tackle, since this is a game with a lot of variables. Too much and the game comes close to being unplayable, too little and we find ourselves completely separated from the experience since no challenge equals no immersion and no immersion equals no fun. So is it possible to improve on what we already have? Today I want to explore this question. I'm Dus and thanks in advance for watching. Difficulty in a video game comes in many shapes and sizes. Sometimes it's a slider, sometimes it's the AI, sometimes it's learning curves, sometimes it's something else or all of the above. New players often say that this is a hard game and with a reason since having no understanding of the mechanics behind it tends to complicate things. Who hasn't encountered problems in trying to solo their first playthrough of the Jackal boss fight? But it's the other way around with veterans, whose grasp on the game's ins and outs gives them a unique vision of things, allowing them to cheese pretty much everything, from one-shooting bosses to breezing through sorties. But why? Why is Warframe so easy? Is it the enemies or the fact that the Warframes themselves are just too powerful, or is it the modding system, which gives an incredible amount of options, thus enabling the player to take things to the extreme? Personally, I think it's all of them, but easy doesn't necessarily mean bad or boring. What makes Warframe successful is the fact that at its core, it's a fun game. But why is it fun? Well, many say it's because of the gameplay, or the customization options, or the ridiculous amount of content available, but one thing you'll never hear is someone saying that Warframe is fun because of its enemies. Fighting enemies in this game is fun, true, but not because the enemies act and feel like challenging obstacles, it's more because of the things you can do to them. Warframe's gameplay loop is at its best when engaging in the run and gun, moving through a tile set at breakneck speeds, mowing down everything and anything that dares to stand in your way. This is the core of the game's power fantasy, it makes you feel like a badass 24-7. At its lowest, Warframe's gameplay feels, in the absence of a better word, dumb. Just strolling through a level with unexciting enemies that take zero effort to destroy. No stakes, no challenge, no fun. And there is nothing more illustrating of this than camping. For all of you who don't know what camping in this game means, it's basically finding a spot with only one way in and funneling the enemies through the singular path, taking them down with the absolute minimum of engagement. In other words, camping is a cheesing strategy. This is due to the fact that, again, in the absence of a better way of putting it, the enemies are dumb. Even though they can take cover, they oftentimes don't use that capability, they just walk up to you trying to take you down while standing in the most convenient place possible for you to pick them like cherries. They move like chips to a slaughterhouse, they don't employ tactics or try to flush you out or change their behavior, and this can feel underwhelming, especially if you're looking for a challenge. But it's not only when camping that you see these issues. Sometimes you're going through a level, alarm sirens alerting of your position, but the enemies just keep on strolling like nothing has happened. They don't change their behavior aside from entering the alerted state, they don't set up ambushes for you, they just run up and place themselves conveniently for you to seize their miserable existences. The only different thing they do is lock you up in a room sometimes, which you'll hack and carry on with the spin to win, and this tends to get boring really fast. Improving the way enemies behave is, in my opinion, the best way to address this issue. Yes, you could take the bullet sponge approach, but this will only make enemies tougher, not necessarily more fun to engage or challenging to face. Now, coding on AI is not easy, especially when trying to predict how a player will behave, but there are steps you can take towards making your enemies meaningful without cranking up that lever to Dark Souls levels of frustration. The first one is to design better enemies, and this is something of a focus for DE in recent times, if you are to judge based on results. Enemies like the Kuva Guardian, the Nox, the Bursa, the Sentience, the Ghouls, all of them involves adopting a different gameplay style or requiring more of your attention, which in turn takes you out of the routine, making these encounters meaningful in some ways. So far, most of the new enemies introduced have been successful in spicing up gameplay. All but the Scrambus, because this thing you know what you can do with this thing? Head first, you grab it, and using that particular helmet as a ram, you shove it up Nefanyo's ass. Now cool off. Everything is fine. 
Where was I? Right, the steps. So the second one is to design better tile sets aimed at challenging the player through the environment. This has also been a focus point for the developers. The last two new maps introduced, the Kuva Fortress and the Plains of Eidolon, are examples on how to improve, making your surroundings a pivotal element in the way we face enemies. The sheer numbers, the cleverly designed tile sets and the traps inside the Kuva Fortress alongside the open spaces of the plane are refreshing since they bring an extra layer of engagement. But ultimately, these steps could amount to nothing if nothing is done about the way enemies behave, improving their AI. Think about it, we've had a new damage system, a new parkour system, an open world, well, sort of, but the way enemies react has remained pretty much the same since day one. This doesn't mean that the developers have done nothing, but in my opinion, this needs more substantial changes. Let's take a look at the main factions. Now, in the case of the infested, I believe them to be the ones needing less change. Their behavior makes you engage them more often since their whole deal is to overwhelm you using numbers. Most of their units attack at melee range, but still they're very susceptible to cheese tactics. I think new enemies, specifically designed to surprise enemies and artificial spawn points, similar to the Nidus worms in StarCraft, could spice up the gameplay, particularly when camping, which is, in my opinion, the point where this faction is at its most boring, since their whole mindless horde theme fits them well with their current behavior. The Gridir and Corpus, on the other hand, are a completely different subject since they are the quote-unquote intelligent factions. My problem with their behavior stems from the fact that they have the tools to be engaging but they don't use them, sometimes they don't use them at all. The cover mechanic for starters, most tile sets are designed with this in mind but enemies just won't hide enough, of course. Too many enemies in cover would slow down the pace, which is not something most players would appreciate, but oftentimes their behavior boils down to wailing in front of you and screaming me, me, so finding the balance between how many stay out in the open and how many seek cover or engage you from a further distance is key. On that same note, recently it was brought the subject of pack tactics for pets a way for them to improve their behavior when acting alongside others, which made me realize that the enemies in this game have no form of coordination between each other, they all attack mindlessly. So enhancing the AI in order for it to engage players in a more dynamic way with coordinated actions could be a great way to improve on this. Enemies setting up ambushes, locking you up in a room where they set up traps and try to corner you, or change their behavior according to the mission type. For instance, in a sabotage mission, not only locking you in a room, but locking the core room when possible, adopting a defensive stance instead of just meandering around like headless chickens. Another thing could be to try and flush players out of camping positions in survival missions, by making better use of their units. In the case of the Grenier, they have the Manix, which teleport, but you only see a couple at most. This is a unit that can be very disruptive if it shows up when you're camping, as is the case of some butcher types that also teleport. While in the case of the Corpus, they could use the Bursa as a flusher since their front defenses are really tough, so they could bear the brunt of the load while they get in the room, then deploy the flashbangs, and while everyone is blinded, flood the place with robotics while the organic units stay behind and in cover waiting for the players to come out. There's a number of ways in which AI behavior in Warframe could be improved, and yes, this won't prevent cheesing since crowd control can throw all of that out the window, but the idea is to make the enemy's behavior more challenging without making them tougher or having to recur to power creep in order to simulate any form of difficulty. My whole take is that getting one shot is not fun, but not getting challenged at all isn't either. It's a balancing act and a tough one at that, but I really think the game needs it, especially now. So what are your thoughts about AI difficulty in Warframe? Leave your impressions in the comments. For my part, this has been all for today. If you enjoyed the video or you found it interesting, please consider giving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Warframe content and follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything. Again, thank you very much for watching. Whatever you are, have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.